All right, today we're breaking down the P0500 code. That's the Vehicle Speed Sensor VSS malfunction code. Basically, your car's onboard computer isn't getting a proper signal from the Vehicle Speed Sensor, which tells the computer how fast your vehicle is moving. Without this info, a lot of systems can act up. What does this mean? The vehicle speed sensor is super important because it feeds speed data to the engine control module, ECM, transmission control module, TCM, ABS system, and even the speedometer. When this sensor isn't working right, you might notice speedometer acting weird or not working at all. ABS or traction control warning lights popping on transmission, shifting strangely, or going into limp mode, cruise control might stop working. Where is the speed sensor? This depends on your vehicle, but usually the speed sensor is located on or inside the transmission or transaxle. Some vehicles rely on ABS wheel speed sensors as part of the vehicle speed input, so it really varies by make, model, and year. How to diagnose P0500? Diagnosing this can be tricky, especially if you don't have a good scan tool that can read transmission and ABS codes. If your basic OBD2 reader isn't cutting it, try borrowing a better scanner from your local auto parts store. They usually let you borrow one for free. Here's your troubleshooting checklist. Check ABS wheel speed sensors. Some vehicles use these as inputs for the vehicle speed sensor system. Use a scan tool to monitor live data from each wheel sensor while driving. If one sensor's reading is missing or erratic, that's a red flag. You can also test these sensors with a multimeter, but remember a meter won't check wiring integrity. Inspect the transmission speed sensor. This sensor is usually on the transmission housing. Older vehicles might have a mechanical gear driven sensor that can wear out. Use your scan tool to verify it's sending proper data. Look over the wiring and connectors. Wiring issues are a common cause. Check for damaged wires, corroded connectors, or loose plugs anywhere from the sensors to the ECM and ABS module. Wiggling wires and connectors while monitoring scan tool data can reveal intermittent faults. Test the ABS control module. Since this module sometimes processes wheel speed data, a fault here can throw the P0500 code. Some scan tools allow you to activate ABS valves to verify module function. Check battery voltage and grounds. Low voltage or bad engine grounds can cause sensor signals to drop out, leading to this code. What next? Once you identify the faulty part, whether it's a sensor, wiring or module, replace or repair it. Clear the code with your scanner and take the car for a test drive. If the code comes back, keep digging. Sometimes multiple issues can cause this. That's the gist of the P0500 code and how to approach fixing it. Got questions? Drop them below. If this helped, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more car tech tips. Catch you next time.